All right, so how do you actually change your life? What are the ingredients that you need to effectively create the life of your dreams so it doesn't become one of those things where you try and you try and you think you're going to and you set some goals and things and then you don't do them? What are the three ingredients that you actually need more than any others? They all start with the letter C, so I call them three C's. <laughs> very creative. And uh, I want to make this video to tell you about the first one. And the first one is consciousness. Consciousness. Yeah, it's synonymous with awareness. And what it means is what we become consciously aware of, right? Because we have an unconscious mind, we have a conscious mind, and most of our reality is being filtered out. 90 to 95% of all of the bits of information in your life are actually being filtered out by your unconscious mind and only a fraction of it, a tiny bit of it, is being filtered up into your conscious mind so that you become aware of it. The interesting part about this is that your conscious mind has the power to tell your unconscious mind what to filter out and what to allow in. Right? It's like when you uh, decide that you want to get a, a new type of car, right? All of a sudden, you see that car everywhere. You see it everywhere. Um, and before, you may not have noticed it nearly as much. That is the power of the unconscious mind to filter stuff out that it doesn't think is important. And that's the power of your conscious mind to say, this is important. So start making me aware of it. And so I wanted to let you know that this is the first foundational piece of actually shifting your life because most of the thoughts that we have, like 95% of the thoughts we had, we've had before. I want you to think about that. Most of the thoughts that you've had, the vast majority, you've actually had before. And so when we look at the choices available to us and awareness gives us choice, that means that most of the choices that you are considering in any given day are based off of the same thought patterns, same belief patterns that you've had running for, for so long. And if we want something we've never had, we get to do something we've never done. That means we get to make new choices, but we can't make those new choices without having the awareness of what are those choices that we can make. Well, this is where the understanding of how your choices are even put together by your conscious mind is incredibly important. And when you recognize that your brain is basically a pattern making machine, it looks at all of the bits of information around you, puts it into patterns that it can understand and synthesizes that information and you make your decisions based on that. So what does that mean? When you take in more data, new new insights, new knowledge, new wisdom, new um, perspectives, new concepts. What that does is just store into the brain over here and it becomes an additional piece of data that you can use to evaluate your reality and make choices based off of it. I'm gonna give you an example. So imagine that you picked up a book and it's it got all these symbols in it and you have no idea what any of them mean. That book is basically worthless to you. Now, what happens when you find out that that book is written in Chinese? Oh, wow, okay. Now there, you have an understanding of what it is, but it still doesn't have very much value to you. But what if you learn 500 different Chinese words? All of a sudden, when you look at that book and you can spot 500 different words, that book has become incredibly more valuable. It has way more meaning. And the more Chinese that you learn, the more the book has value to you. And that's the same way that I want you to understand that life works. When you have more information, more data, more concepts, more wisdom, more knowledge that you can pull from, your entire reality becomes more valuable to you because your brain can put the patterns together just like the letters or the symbols. It can put the patterns together, provide you with more information, more feedback, which gives you more choices because your awareness has expanded. And those choices mean that you can now choose a timeline that's in alignment with your greatest growth. You can actually create the life that you want to lead because you have more options for how to get there. Make sense? So how do you apply this to your life? You expose yourself to more information. You expose yourself to more um, 
motivation, wisdom, inspiration, more concepts. And it doesn't just mean everything that's just fully what you already know or what you already believe. In fact, if you expose yourself to something that's so outside of, of what you previously thought you might like or know or agree with, and you find some value there, that can be even more valuable because what's happened is you've opened up this area that you previously were completely shut down to because you were operating over here and now this is available to you. And so um, this, I also wanna just touch on briefly the power of discernment because if you, what we have is a, a limited amount of time on this planet and you want to be taking in the information, the concepts, the wisdom from people who exhibit a way of being or a way of living or um, the characteristics that you value. You value them because you wanna design your life in a way that brings you closer to that, right? So um, that balance of exposing yourself to new ideas, new concepts, new wisdom, while simultaneously receiving it from people that you respect, from people that you're like, wow, I, I wish my life looked more like that. That's the balance, that's the work. So I hope that this gave you a little bit more awareness, which is an expansion of consciousness which means that you now have new choices available to you. And those choices may look like just watching another YouTube video. <laughs> they may look like checking out my podcast or um, joining my online community as a way of continuing to get this information and putting it into application in your life so that you can continue to create the life that you want. That's the first C, consciousness. Consciousness. Okay? Apply it. And check out the second C, by the way. The second C. It's creativity. I have another.